Hey, how are we doing boys and girls? Welcome to the video. So today on Solar DMZ, we have an absolute corker for you in terms of a regain. Um, and there's a few things you can take away from this video to just help you along your way in Season 4. One, I think the comms vest is now back to being the meta for solo players. Stealth vest was definitely before, but now with the um, fixes to the comms vest, where it's actually showing you the difference between um, bots and players. So bots are basically the little squares. Players are now like the big triangles, um, which actually show you directions they're looking at. So now the comms vest not only gives you notifications of when platoons are nearby, squads nearby. Whenever you pop a UAV, use a UAV tower, you know exactly where they are. You know exactly where they're looking. It is huge information, okay? And I think uh, for your normal daily kind of uses i think you should be using the comms vest it's just going to really help you um let you know when people are nearby when doing missions for example um what you should be doing when you uh hear that notification should you avoid taking on those players because they're actually they are platoon you didn't know about it for example there's just a lot of information to t be had from the comms vest if you combine it by getting into the habit of always buying uavs when you're going to the like the buy stations or if you've got the bundle for example which you see i've got the rose skin on at the minute i always have the uh, a uav on me at the site at the time so if you mix that with the comms vest you get a notification you can just pop the uav straight away know exactly where someone is and exactly where they're looking really really strong and i do think the uh the comms vest is the way forward so uh definitely start aiming towards getting yourself a comms vest okay if you want me to do an updated video on that on how to get the comms vest nice and easy i can definitely do so for you okay now on top of that the police system um i always get this asked a lot what do you think about the police system i do think it's an absolute step backwards and i don't agree on it because i think the I think, to be honest um, they kind of missed the mark on the fact that what the issue was wasn't necessarily the actual plea system. It was the fact that there was pre-made six-man teams, right? If you go against a normal six-man team with who are in comms in the game, they're not really organized to be honest that much at the time. And you can either avoid them or you can take them on um, or... You know, a lot of times you find like these kind of like random six-man teams are just trying to do missions a lot of the time. I find that they just you know don't really know what they're doing and they weren't really the biggest issue the issue was the pre-mades right and this doesn't really so do counter that in fact you see more pre-mades since the um since this update but one thing you can take away as a positive and i always try to find positives for for you know changes to kind of just help you along your way the fact is that as a solo player and you can now see pleas from squads or other solos or whatever from very long distances, right? Which can give you a huge heads up and information that there's something going on. And this actually helps me in this game, you're going to see, where I see a plea of um, someone going down. I'm like, oh, there's people over there because chances are there's another squad which has killed them. And so you, you can either avoid them or for me, I go over there and investigate, right? And it can help you out. On top of that, because we do and then get into a fight with a squad, you'll see that I'm not fully kitted and I was definitely at a disadvantage. I had to fall back um, after missing a few shots or realizing I'm not going to be able to take these on where, the, where I was in the cover. I had to kind of get back and kind of, you know, reposition. And I was in a bit of a sticky situation and you'll see one of the things which actually helped me get out of that sticky situation was the superpowers but i'm not going to spoil it for you i do think the superpowers are fine i'm not a massive massive fan of them but i'm also in the mindset of it's just an event at the end of the day it's going to be gone in season five it's only for you know half a month basically it's not too long now to go and so that's just a little bit of fun i don't really find them that bad to go against i haven't really had a time where i've been killed by them that much and so most of the time even when they get pots people know you're about because it lets you know on the actual um mini map that someone's got something active so they're not a big issue sure they're a bit annoying sure they don't really fit in the unit the call of duty universe in fact but it's an event at the end of the day and events do normally sometimes make things a little bit different in terms of gameplay right also, just going back again on the, the police system, one thing that just popped to my mind as I see a lot of negatives about is people are saying that, you know, people are camping bodies when I killed them because the uh, the fact that people can plea, they don't go and they're waiting for someone to pick them up. And this is very scummy, right? This is like, it is a scummy thing I've actually seen a few times. But what you can do is avoid not getting killed by it. 
by knowing this information, right? If you see a plea for help, just expect that someone's most probably nearby being a bit of a scummer and maybe camping those bodies, right? If those plea for help is keeping there, yeah? So if you do want to go and help them, just get ready for a fight. If It, it might be that you bring a UAV with you, use a thing like a recon drone, you know, scope the area out with a spotter scope, snipe them from afar, for example, if you do want to go and help those players out, or if you're not confident in helping, just avoid them, right? Um, it's a few of these negatives I do see um, from other people saying about it. you can actively just avoid certain things by just using the information you have in your, you know, have it on screen, right? So if you see, please for help, you're seeing people saying that their people are camping, just avoid it if you're not really confident going to pick them up, right? Or use the tools available to you like UAVs, like recon drones, things like that to kind of get an idea where people are, yeah? Um, so... Like I said, police system, I do think is a negative change and I do hope they revert it. But to help you along your way, there is a lot of things you can do. So hope this kind of helps. Let's get straight into the old live comms. This one's an absolute corker. Bear, thank you. Yeah, I am a lot of that, a lot of bear, thank you. It's still a little bit husky in the sense of like, I I, I do lose it um, after a certain amount of talking. But it is a lot better. Um... It doesn't cut out, and it was like the 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 three about like two days before this, I couldn't talk. Like I just literally, my voice did not work. It it, it literally just didn't work. It was when we started streams, you guys kind of felt the wrath of it at the end, didn't you? Right? It was like slot. It was starting to cut out a bit, and uh, I was like, oh no, this is not good. This is this is really starting to cut out, and then it yeah. 400 did i say 400 meters away that's like literally over there wow so, so we know we know we know where someone is two people over there three people over there so we know there's a fight going on over there If I can get my other battery in here, that would be bloody awesome. People here. Oh, no, that's just on us. Okay. Wait, they've on plead. So the either no, they couldn't have got up unless there's another team there, right? UAV is being RTV at this time. There is someone pings. Two people pinged up there. Three people pinged up there. Three people on the ping. Pots are steaming over there. They're pushing over. Well, I know. I'm going to back up. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming.
There's a temp V thing in there. Shite. We've got a hemlock and one plate in the dream. Hemlock and a plate in the dream. I mean, sure. I know I could have grabbed the backpack, but at the minute, I just want to grab the shotgun because I think it's going to be a bit more useful than the hemlock. I can grab the backpack in a minute, but I didn't want to loot too long, just in case they push. Got teleportation. What does that do? I need the backpack, though. Hmm. Right, let's try and get our comms vests. I wouldn't mind a cheeky comms vest. Oh, there we are. I think that's all we need. So we got one, two, we got the cream. Where's the neck? It's buy. Here. Got a buy station here. Okay. It's Captain for Oh, oh no. Captain Chunks is incoming. So the teleport seems to just teleport you like directly above the um directly above where you you, you used it basically. From the looks of it. Actuals are well for one. 
Only thing is, I feel a little bit kind of like naked without the um, without an assault rifle. But I don't really know how this uh, shotgun performs. I haven't actually managed to use it too much. See if there's any more classified documents in here. Nope. It's good to use when you're in trouble. Okay. There's a classified document. If you needed one. Look in the um these kind of chocolate jaws. I do see him like lying about on here too. Who, whoever it was looking for the classifieds. There's the gold bars. I like coming here because of the gold bars. Because I normally find gold bars. Like if you're trying to make yourself a secure backpack. Even though it is bugged at the minute. Um, in the sense of like. Doesn't seem to secure what's actually in the backpack. Um, who's died now? And whereabouts? Someone died but... I do need to get the, the comms though. If I can get comms going, and then we, we just basically always have the pattern of comms vest UAV. Um, oh. Um, we're pretty much sorted. Where? Where is it? I don't say where. Is it just really far away? Like, right over there? My days. What I'm going to do is go and grab the attack 56. And then I can at least, and then have this, this shotgun in close quarters situations. We've got attack 56 to help us in most situations dealing with AI. So I don't have to keep shooting the shotgun like for like, random stuff. Possibly confirm for you guys that it's still there. I think it is though. I do think it is. Shit, the actual bedside, excuse me. Operator is near your location and requesting medical. Ultra one, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Five hundred meters over that way. Where is that? Over there, okay. That's um Ultra One, we've got some absolute feral AI. I need a uh, attack fifty six. Ooh. 
This is a bad. Get my steps in today, boys. Oh, grab that. Those pots are steaming, dude. That on one, mate. So there's some stuff happening over there. Yeah, people over there. There's someone somewhere over there. Uh, we've got loads of crisis. Oh, and over the field day over there, we've got Sunny Jim over down here. Got Rooftop Roy over that way. Who else we got? Who's this guy doing? Sunny Jim and this guy seem to be together. Where's, what's Rooftop Roy doing? There was another rooftop Roy. Two rooftop Roy's. Rando Roy's. I think I like calling it in. Oh, there's an ambush. Yeah, look, look. Deadly ambush. Ultra one, be advised. Winds are picking up. Move to an extraction point. Where are these guys gone? Rooftop Roy is on it, look. Where's Plateless Pete? I don't know. I, I called it in. So they called it in. Roy's off. Roy is steaming. Roy is pushing in for the kill. This guy over here doesn't know what to do. He's like, Roy, I don't know about this, mate. This is not a good idea. Roy's like, F life. I'm going strat in there. Okay, Roy is part of the team. It's fine. So that guy is not part of the team. Roy is... Roy, okay, Rooftop Roy is a part... Okay, what's this guy doing? This guy's an absolute nutcase. What? Roy is steaming. Oh... Roy, did you just jump out, Roy? No. He's checking the perimeter. Stevie's now going in. This is Stevie's best chance to call an extract. Have we got any more people coming towards Stevie? I don't know why I called him Stevie. It looks like a Stevie from here. Where's Stevie gone? We've lost Stevie. Oh no, here he goes. He's a trooper. He's going straight towards it. Come on. I think you're, I think you're fine, Stevie. I can't see anyone else in your proximity. That's it. Nice one, Steve. Where are you going? What's your best bet of hiding? That's not a good place, Steve. Steve, that really isn't. You wait. If someone comes here, Steve, you're going to die, mate. I I'm calling it, Steve. If oh, no. I think we're all right. I think Steve is fine. Nice one, Steve. No one else over there. Come on, Steve! Oh, shite. We're, 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 let's... I got a bit distracted. I'm sorry, guys. I was having a good time watching those lot. I got a little bit distracted. Right, we need... we need, Okay, six bullets in a dream. That's not good, is it? One plate in a dream. Pete, let's Pete. Have I got any ammo? No. This is not looking good. Are pushing radiation. 
position through the area. Advise moving to extraction when able. So I thought, right, nice. There's the thing what I want. All right, we're gonna put you. We'll grab you. Bring you. Lovely old job, right? So we have that as an extract. I suppose we could then take the risk now and go for it too. Do I need to get some more ammo for this? I think I do. Okay, we need to get quickly some more ammo. Mr. Dopey Bollocks, is a wet lettuce. Oh no. Sin softer Sundays. Oh wait. Broadside Bob. Look, this is be nice to sin Sundays. This is not mug sin off Sundays. All right. Okay, I'll just let you know this, boys. Just letting you know. Guys, don't you know it's be nice to sin Sundays? It's exactly real. You let free teams exfil. Oh, here we go. You can't, you can't please anyone these days, can you? Right. This is Savage Sundays. If I be nice, that's it. You're gone soft. You're wet lettuce. That's it. Unsubscribed. You didn't kill them. Right? Now, let's turn it around. If I went over there and killed Steve or Rooftop Roy, yeah? That'll be it. There'll be someone in chat... You could have just let them go. You're extract camping. You're steaming. I'll be like, you can't, you can't win. Right, do you think I should take this extract? I mean, well, it's the only one I can take, really. Isn't it? Unless we wait for... Uh, why is it shaky? Old sensor would not be happy. Well, let... Oh, for Christ. I'm steaming. This is steaming Sundays for me. Steaming Sundays. Fuming. Fuming. This is why I get sniped out of the air. Incoming. I'm right. I'm ready for it. We're going to meet the same team we met before. Like it. Let's get some high grounds. I can't rock climb. I'm having to fail. I'm going to run. No, we're... We're getting sniped. We're getting sniped, boys. We've got more rooftop Roy's. All right, rooftop boys. Well, actually, no, these are hard scope Harry's. It's just, look at these, look. This, that is definitely the hard scope Harry's. That is definitely hard scope Harry's. There's a boy in Hardscope Harry's boys. Sore throat sin would have killed them. <laughs> what? I'm not a hardscope. 